Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Sophia Brahe and what her contributions were to astronomy and other sciences. So let's take a look here. And what we see is that this was actually the sister of the astronomer Tycho Brahe, who is well known as one of the uh, last of the great naked eye observers. So prior to the advent of the telescope, these were the times of observations uh, using just your eyes. Now we find that Tycho actually is known to have discouraged uh, Sophia from studying astronomy. So she wanted to learn it. So she learned astronomy on her own by studying the earlier textbooks and teaching herself astronomy as well as other sciences. Now she's also known to later have assisted Tycho in his observations, including visiting and working at his astronomy in Uraniborg. So that was a great observatory that Tycho uh, created on an island and did his most detailed observations, which eventually led to some of our understanding of how planets move in the solar system. And Sophia was it was part of these observations and assisted with observations, especially relating to the discovery of the supernova of 1572. Now, this was one of the things that convinced uh, Tycho and other astronomers that the a star that the heavens could be changing that previous to this it was thought that maybe these stars that appeared in the sky, these new stars were not something far away with the stars, but we're actually in our own atmosphere. Well, observations of Tycho and Sophia were able to show that these were not atmospheric events. They could measure distances and at least rule out that they were something within our atmosphere. She's also known to have assisted with horoscopes. Now we have to remember at this time in the 1500s, astronomers and astrologers were really one and the same. And many of the great astronomers of the time also cast horoscopes. And in fact, that may be their primary duty was to cast the horoscopes and predict predictions as to what would happen for their benefactors. What was the future going to hold for them? And Sophia helped and assisted with the calculation of those horoscopes, which required detailed calculations of positions of the planets uh, at the time of birth of the person that you were working on the horoscope for. Now, Sophia was also known to study things like horticulture and chemistry, so not limited to just astronomy, but was a great scientist in terms of studying various fields at the time. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary here. And we've looked at Sophia Brahe as the sister of the astronomer Tycho Brahe, who worked with Tycho and assisted with his observations, including those of the planets and of the supernova that occurred in 1572. And we know that she also did work in chemistry and horticulture in addition to astronomy. So that concludes this lecture on Sophia Brahe. We'll be back again next week for another discussion of a woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.